I just got done recording a bunch of content enhancing my onboarding process. You see, I'm constantly trying to evolve and improve my systems. And onboarding is a critical area, especially for accounting firms, because there can be a lot of confusion on the part of the client about what's going on and when and what's needed and when it's going to happen and when is it all done. <clears throat> so, you know, rather than get a client complaining to me and saying, hey, I'm confused and then getting defensive, I'd rather look for solutions. I mean, we hear that kind of stuff all the time, but what I'm trying to do is give you a very practical example and use case for where this comes up. And the reality is it's, it's real. It's not just stuff people say, it's real. We, we have to look towards solutions. So we have to take complaints, even if it wasn't intended to be constructive, we have to take them as constructive. In fact, if you want to really get into it, if somebody comes to us with malice and they're not really complaining, they're trolling, whatever you want to call it, the best way to respond to them is from a constructive thank you for the feedback. I'm going to use it to try and improve my pro process kind of standpoint. That's going to piss them off even more, actually. But the reality is either way, regardless of the intent of the person coming to you with the concern or the complaint, it's going to improve your process. So even if it's not intended to be positive, take it as a positive, turn it into a positive. Like I said, that's going to piss the trolls off even more. And the bottom line is you'll constantly be improving your business and your process. That's what I'm always looking to do. In fact, I've had a process in place for a long time that I'm still working on constantly improving my cash flow projections. I'm recording this now. Tonight is our meetup on cash flow projections. I've done webinars on it. You can purchase them and download them and watch them. And a lot of companies do that and then hire me for one-on-one -on -one so we can work on their specifically and get into their specific issues and how to address them properly. Bottom line is this, this year, probably more than ever before, I'm consulting with companies, building these with them, not for them, with them. And I'm choosing those words carefully and it's important because it's important to know that as the accountant, I need to, it's important to me to get the client feedback. And I'd rather do it with the client so that we don't have to send a million emails back and forth. I'd rather use the communication tools that are out there like Slack in order to facilitate the conversation and make it easy for myself to get the job done well for the client. It ends up helping both of us, of course, in the long run. So I'm not afraid to use the tools. I'm not afraid to expose myself in such a way that the client has more constant and direct access to me. It actually makes my life easier. I sort of cringe when I hear some people talking about, oh, I would never give my clients that kind of access to me. I'm like, okay, you know. <laughs> so basically what you're saying is, I would never want to create a great service for my clients. I want to shut them out and keep them as far away as possible and just process their accounting for them and send them a report and leave me alone. I guess if that's how you want to provide a service, it probably works for some wouldn't work for me. My goal is to build a really solid foundation with the client and to become partners with that client. And I hope that's your goal too, because I really think it's going to be better for everybody concerned in the long run. We're going to move into this new area that's based on something that a lot of people still think of as new, but isn't so new anymore. And it's this world of the cloud. It's this world of all these apps that we're using. And we're developing something that I'm calling eco consulting. It's ecosystem consulting. It's looking at analyzing, understanding a business's process and then figuring out what apps to use to get the job done. It's not just one app. It's not just an accounting app. There's other things we need. We need project management. We need workflow. There's overlap between things. We have apps that are available that can completely or almost completely automate certain accounting processes like billing and accounts payable and receipt management and tracking. All that can be substantially automated and in many respects completely automated. So there's lot, lots changing, lots happening in the industry of accounting and accounting tech. And I, for one, am focusing on how to cultivate this, how to use this. And my goal, as I came out and stated it about a year ago, is to build a consulting business using the ecosystem, using the apps like we do. I just got finished recording onboarding videos for Slack and Smartsheet so that when clients are being onboarded, they know exactly what we're using and how we're using them. And they understand exactly what their role is in the whole process and it makes things really clear. And these are two examples of apps that we use with every single client. I set, up my, I set my goal about a year and a half ago and I told people and I built a program called 97 and up around this where I said I'm going to document th what this goal is and how I'm going to reach it. And the goal is to have 100 clients at an average of $1,500 per month. If you do the math, that's $1.8 million a year. I'm well on my way there. It's happening slowly, but it's happening surely. And I hope that you have goals that you've set and a plan for how to reach them as well. If not, reach out to me and let's see what we can do. Maybe I can help you.